Hi there, welcome to Zero to Hero Microsoft Engine Training Series and we are in day 8. In this short lecture, we will try to learn about uh, Microsoft Intune, uh, how to start learn ideally because if you just go back to Microsoft Intune console, you might have all these options, right? But you don't know, you know from where to start if you are the quite uh, first time learner right so that's what i'm gonna uh, give you some an idea so once you know how to start with this and then you can move to the next levels so that's the idea uh, so i would uh, give you here the first step uh, how to start with the microsoft intune um, ideally so we know that you know how to take the trial license all of that stuff now it's time for us to uh, start working with the console. So before we actually jump into it, this is the uh, really the last step I would say before you touch up the console, you uh, better to start, uh, at least this is my recommendation, you start with the by platform. So you might have multiple options like uh, endpoint security, users, groups, all of that, right? But in the previous lectures, we learned how to create some of the test users and the groups and some of the first time configurations but this time uh, within this lecture we will focus how to start so to start always try with uh, devices uh, because at the end what you're going to do you're going to work with some of the device so this device can be a mobile device like ios device or maybe android device or even a windows device also uh, for that matter it also can be a linux or a mac device so that's why we first have to start with the uh, this device specifics and that's what we're going to try to do so that's fine so the device is uh, consists of platform right when i say platform so that device uh, definitely as it says windows operating system or apple iOS or iPad iOS operating system or Mac specific or Google Android Linux different flavors or different distributors right so these things we would start so I would you know pick up throughout this course as a first step as a Windows so once we move to Windows we will simply jump into other platforms so there's no uh, right order I would say but you need to know uh, couple of things you take it up any of this platform for example windows you want to start ios or android or linux or mac it doesn't matter i'm just giving you here an example only okay in this uh, for example it, you picked up for instance windows so what you do is you first have to start with the enrollment so enrollment is uh, in the past we just discussed enrollment is nothing but a joining the device or taking a membership kind of thing um, to intune so th so that the microsoft intune can manage the device so in this case uh, enrollment again there are types like you know you might have your own uh, company own device or maybe your personal owned device so these are the two different type of devices you can expect in the enrollment for example here a uh, personally owned devices we call it as a byod right so bring your own device meaning the user will bring his own device um, of course he used that twitter or facebook or whatever that applications as a personal purpose because he owns that device right but he will also install company specific applications like outlook or teams or whatever that application that is uh, given by your company and that data will be securely managed within that uh, device so that's called the uh, bring your own device so ideally what happens is uh, the other area um, this is the company applications area will be encrypted secured so the copy paste or the data transfer between your personal applications to uh, corporate we would be you know, blocking uh, the transferring all of that with the Intune policies. So that's the ideal test case. Now, this is for the bring your own device or sometimes we can also call this personally owned devices. The other one is a corporate device. So we would start learning the corporate enrollment method with this 
uh, types so later point what you do is you start with the deploying applications maybe scripts um, such things and then uh, now think about the configuration uh, of some of the applications or maybe some security policies that you could actually push on all these devices so for this matter for example here whatever we have we have here windows we have we have ios android right so these operating system specific we can put some configuration let's say if it is a ios for example the user should have very strong password example or if it is a android maybe you don't want to allow them jailbroken or maybe a usb debugging option enabled devices such things a kind of a security policies also can be configured right uh, if it is a windows device you might have some gpu right so the gpu settings all of that stuff actually gets applied with the help of configuration profiles so we work with the configuration profile as i said now we would start with the by platform we'll pick up one platform and we apply all these things like enrollment application deployment configuration profiles and any additional uh, settings that you want to learn it for example uh, update of the updates the windows operating system or ios or android devices upgrade some application specific like the user when he log in outlook should be automatically configured on your mobile device so that user no need to worry about that application specific profiles or configuration some scripts you want to deploy some restrictions for example you don't want to allow maybe version 9 uh, older version of windows or maybe in this case the older version of android devices you don't want to allow so that kind of you know, restrictions you can set it uh, or you can work with your role based access management once you learn all this i would ideally these are the basics thing that you need to know or you can say that uh, in tune plan one if you learn the licensing lecture there are uh, plans right so we talk about the plan one specific features once you complete it you will move to the uh, next level of configuration uh, that is the in tune uh, suite and then uh, whatever the features we have within that we can learn also we can start learning the defender integration and cloud pcs or avds um, that is azure cloud-based virtual devices that can be managed so these are the additional topics that we can learn or we can work in real time when we move it you don't get it just the windows right you might get you know different platforms and advanced topics um, like these things are role based access or maybe uh, Microsoft Intune suite specific a specific functionality feature they need all of that stuff we would be start learning it so that being said I'll catch you in the next lecture on Microsoft Intune for Windows enrollment this lecture is part of complete Microsoft Intune training series where we would be discussing complete uh, Microsoft Intune training from zero to hero uh, which includes all the real-time uh, best practices step-by-step -step instructions and this series also consists of interview questions if you're interested you can also check for other series that are part of very similar to the series